Welcome back to this hobby of ours. I'm your host, E, and today's episode we have yet another make believe watch. What's a make believe watch, you ask? Make believe, make believe watches, make believe, make believe watches. It's not on your wrist because it doesn't exist. It's only in your head, so Photoshop it instead. Make believe, make believe watches. You know, the, uh, the song for that uh, little segment, voicemail I left for the, uh, the composer, Franklin. He said, oh, no, this is gold. You got to keep this. <laughs> Insane. I love the sound of my own voice. I actually don't. Everyone hates the sound of their own voice, myself included. It's mostly because the version of your voice you hear isn't just what's happening out here audio-wise. It's everything that's bouncing around in your coconut. Anyways, I digress. Today's episode is about... The Omega Seamaster 300, the OG. This is mine on the Omega Legit Mesh. This is a WatchCo. Uh, I've got a, another video that covers what WatchCo's are. Basically, put together watch from all new old stock Omega parts. Uh, fabulous, love it. It basically looks like a 1968 watch, but it is brand spanking nearly new. Why am I doing this episode? Uh, I like to fiddle with Photoshop and design. I'm not a designer. I don't have that skill set, but I like to putz around with it and have some fun. I'm accelerating this episode because of what happened the last time I did an Omega design and I let it sit on the shelf. They actually came out with the watch and scooped me. The Omega X33 Mars watch. I had done a version of it in my head, in my coconut, in my uh, computer called the X39 uh, Mars mission. Uh, link to that video. That was a lot of fun other than the fact that they got theirs out before mine. I still think mine looked so much better with the all black uh, titanium case and a light up glow of the orange, but I digress. So it is not going to happen again, Omega. Shout out to ID Guy. Love your channel, bro. Absolutely love your content. And we have a friend in common, Kurt. And I hope he sends this uh, video to you to check out because you are more or less the inspiration for me accelerating this video. ID Guy was speculating that Omega is going to re-release this model in some way, shape, or form to coincide with the upcoming anniversary of it. As soon as I saw his video, I'm like, oh, I better get my make-believe version out there ASAP. And that's what's up on the wall over here right now. Uh, I actually enjoy printing some of my designs and hanging them on the wall. Good bit of fun. It's on a aluminum tin print. And I'll, uh, what I'll do is, as we're discussing it, because it's kind of hard to see, I'll insert uh, the proper artwork for it. I took this watch and did a little bit of a redesign of it. Some super duper basic Photoshop stuff. First thing I did is I deleted most of that bezel and incorporated the 24 hour scale but left in the 1 through 15 increments for true dive use and then i slapped a gmt hand on it but not just anyone i grabbed the plo prof orange hand as the gmt genius genius glory to god in all things i don't know where that inspiration come from must have been from god but i think it looks so beautiful and more importantly i would buy this watch Omega, if you're listening, make the watch. Actually, send me one for free since it was semi my idea. Uh, and I will totally promote it for you, uh, Omega Design Team. I adore this watch. I think that, you know, Omega did release several models with broad sword hands, different bezel. And I think we're pretty familiar with those. I have one. I have actually the GMT version of it, modded bezel. I'll pop up a card for that video. That watch is a ton of fun, gorgeous. It's the 50th anniversary of that one. And this one is just vintage goodness. It would be so cool if they took my design. I don't care, I won't be offended. They seriously need to ship me one though. And then all, all, all grievances are, uh, are in the past, Omega. But no, do a GMT version, why not? I think that with that latest release of the Bond 60th with that super duper cool case back, they're into doing cool stuff these days. Uh, you know, building on the, the, you know, the release of the Snoopy with that cool case back. I'm not suggesting anything weird for this case back. Just grab a bunch of orange Ploprof hands, slap them on a redesign of this, maybe upgrade the bezel insert. But don't go super weird with the topography on the numbers because that's 
that's what made me modify my GMT uh, watches. I didn't I didn't care for those uh, those numbers. Now, granted, I can't tell the GMT time on it. <laughs> that's what I need you for, Kurt. I need you to help me tell my GMT time. Can't have any of these office collar GMTs in my collection. No siree. All right, Omega, there you have it. Video proof that I'm giving you semi-license to do this design. So as long as you ship me one, give me some credit on the website, and I can write myself into your history. Big shout out to ID Guy. Excellent channel. If you've not checked him out, absolutely please do so immediately. Excellent stuff. Hope you enjoyed this episode of Make Believe Watches. Make believe, make believe watches. Make believe, make believe watches. It's not on your wrist. Cause it doesn't exist, it's only in your head, so photoshop it instead. Make believe, make believe watches.